Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Now in the previous video, we went over the default keyboard shortcuts in the file menu. In this video, we're going to go over them in the edit menu. And as I mentioned in the previous video, we're not just going to cover the keyboard shortcuts in this menu. There's a lot more based on editing we'll go over. So let's say we deleted this audio item, and now we wanted to undo that move. We can go up here to the edit menu and choose undo delete items. And this action is going to undo the last action we did, not just deleting items. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control Z, and on Mac, it's Command Z. So if we trigger that action, it undoes that delete. And we could also redo it with the next action, redo delete items. But again, it's going to redo the previous action we triggered. And the keyboard shortcut for this on PC is Shift Control Z. And on Mac, it's Shift Command Z. So if we trigger that, it redoes the delete. And we can go back and forth as much as we want. Undo and redo. Now let's say we triggered a bunch of actions. Let's delete this one, then this one, then this one, and so on. We can now go to the menu and choose Undo History, which can be triggered on the PC Alt Control Z or on Mac Option Command Z. And what that's going to do, if we trigger it, is open up this Undo History dialog where we can see all the actions or all the moves we made. And we can jump to any of them like this. We want to go back to the initial state, hit enter. And all those deletions go back to where we started. Or to redo it all, go right here, hit enter, and it jumps back to all of them being deleted. Or anywhere in between. So we get a complete undo history to undo or redo any of the previous actions we made. And we could open up the undo history with this keyboard shortcut on the PC, Alt Control Z, or on Mac, Option Command Z. Next, we have Select All, and this is going to be based on our focus or the last touched focus in our project. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control A, and on Mac, it's Command A. And if we hit it with our tracks in focus, or the last thing we touched or adjusted, it's going to select all the tracks in our project. Or if the items were in focus or the last thing touched, it's going to select all the items in our project. And the same thing with our envelopes. Let's create a volume envelope, draw some points. Now, if we select one point over here, and hit that keyboard shortcut for select all. It selects all the points together. So the select all action only works with the last thing in focus, whether it be tracks, items, or envelope points. And it'll work the same way for this next action. Cut. On PC, it's Control X. And on Mac, it's Command X. And again, if we select our track, Hit that keyboard shortcut, it's going to cut that track. Or multiple tracks. But if we select our items, hit that keyboard shortcut, it's going to cut those instead. And if we select our envelope points, let's select them all and cut them. It cut all those points with that one action. And it'll work the same way. For this action, copy. On PC, it's Control C, and on Mac, it's Command C. 
And just like cut, it's going to add the contents to our clipboard so it could paste them later, but it's also based on our focus. So if we want to copy this track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it copies that track. So if we pasted it, it pastes that track. Or if we do the same thing with an item, copy it, we can then paste it right here. And the same thing with envelope points. Let's select this point, copy it, and we can paste it over here. And it just pastes that point, what we copied. Of course, we could also cut it and paste it. Cut and paste it over here, which is the action over here to paste whatever we put in our clipboard, whatever we cut or copy. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control V, and on Mac, it's Command V. Now we could also cut or copy within a time selection. And we'll just add the shift key to that keyboard shortcut. So on PC, if we want to cut within the time selection, we'll hit Shift Control X. And on Mac, it's Shift Command X. So we can create a time selection, make sure we select the items we want to cut, and then cut them with that keyboard shortcut. And it just cuts within the time selection. And it'll work the same way for copying. Right here, copy within time selection. On PC, it's Shift Control C. And on Mac, it's Shift Command C. So once again, we can create a time selection, select the items we want to copy, hold on the keyboard shortcut to just copy within the time selection, and paste that over here. And it just pastes the section within the time selection right over here. Next, we have dynamic split. And the keyboard shortcut for PC or Mac is D. So if we want to split our items based on the dynamics, hit the D key, and that opens up the dynamic split dialog. And we could split our items based on their dynamics, or how loud or soft they are. And notice down over here, we can set the transient sensitivity from this dialog, but we could also open up this dialog directly. Right over here, transient detection settings. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Alt Shift Control T, and on Mac, it's Option Shift Command T. And if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the transient detection settings dialog. So we don't have to open it up right over here in dynamic split. And then finally, in this menu, right down here, we have nudge set items. And the keyboard shortcut for PC and Mac is just N. Hit the N key, and that opens up the nudge set dialog where we can nudge or set our items based on different parameters like position, left trim, left edge, right trim, and so on, and put in values to shift it or nudge it left or right based on different times and rulers. And it's a lot quicker to hit the keyboard shortcut instead of going to the menu. Just hit N, and it opens up the dialog right away. So those are the default keyboard shortcuts based on the edit menu. But as I mentioned earlier, there are a bunch of other keyboard shortcuts that are based on editing that are not in this menu. So go through those in the next video. So that's the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Ah!